We have said that these are our demands. We believe that the Prime Minister could have done better. And uh, more importantly than that, when we start to look at those individuals and those who might be saying that we are unreasonable, they have their reasons for, say, to, for saying that simply because they are enjoying the sweets that we are not enjoying. Sir, Sir, at what point does the BNTU assess and say, okay, we've gone this far, this is becoming a, a, a battle for who is more stubborn to give ground? When, when do you all make that determination? We determine that day by day. Sir Palacio, are you concerned now that perhaps the Prime Minister will seek to bring this, these issues to the NTUCB instead of your union, and perhaps that could, in a sense, overshadow the role you are playing on these issues? In the meeting today, we clearly articulated to the Prime Minister the role of the National Trade Union Congress of Belize. He, in, in fact, admitted that he does not know the inner workings of the Trade Union Congress of Belize. Uh, no doubt, he pointed out that he was made, or those, that type of information that he has articulated in a letter was made known to him by the president of the NTUCB. In other words, the president of the NTUCB made him understand that the NTUCB is a bargaining agent. And in any organization, in the labor movement, you have an umbrella organization, which is in the case of Belize, the National Trade Union Congress of Belize, but that is not a, that is not a bargaining unit. The bargaining unit in the TUC are the individual unions that have their autonomy and they bargain on behalf of the workers that they represent.